In the last few years, we managed to discover quite a lot of uh, exoplanets, but not many of them have actually, unfortunately, been Earth-like. As a matter of fact, most of them we might never even be able to reach because they're just a little bit too far away. But this time around, in August of 2016, scientists have discovered something really unusual in a very close star to us. Today we're going to talk about this, and you're going to learn more about it. Welcome to What The Math, and if you still haven't subscribed, press that subscribe button right now. So what exactly am I talking about? Well, of course, I'm talking about the August 2016 publication and the discovery of what seems to be an Earth-like planet very, very close to us. Uh, in basically the closest star to us, and we're going to go there right now. I'm talking about um, Proxima Centauri. It's the third star in um, Alpha Centauri system that you're going to see in a second, because I'm going to essentially leave our solar system, we're going to move away from it, and I'm going to try to give you an idea of how close we're talking about here. So you can kind of see this is the neighboring stars next to us, and this right here is Alpha Centauri. It is essentially the closest star to us. Uh, it, it, this is a binary star around which we have possibly discovered a planet back in 2012, but then in 2015 it turned out to be just a calculation mistake. But if I start approaching this, somewhere a little bit closer to our sun, I'm going to try to discover a much dimmer object. And this dimmer object is technically the closest star to us. It is uh, possibly related to these binary stars that you see right here. This is um, Alpha Centauri A and B. But I'm looking for the C. And this is, of course, what we call Proxima Centauri. I think I just saw it, but I lost it again. Let's just look for it this way. Proxima Centauri. This is also known as... Oh, it's right there. It wasn't even here, apparently. Uh, this is essentially known as the um, Alpha Centauri C because it might actually be gravitationally attached to those two other stars, but it might also be an object by itself. Um, we can't really see this with naked eye, unlike Alpha Centauri, because it is um, a red dwarf. It's a relatively dim star that I'm going to zoom toward. And in this particular game in Space Engine, you'll notice that it does have quite a lot of objects orbiting around it. Now, we don't really know if there's so many planets, but Space Engine is awesome at simulating randomly generated planets, and in this case, one of these planets has an unusual surprise for us. Now, if you ever watched Avatar, the movie, um, in that movie, the planet Pandora orbits around a um, gas giant, uh, I believe it's called Polymetheus? Is it Polymetheus? No, it's Polyphemus. The gas giant Polyphemus and um, Pandora is essentially a world that has a lot of life on it, a lot of interesting life that is, and humans are trying to colonize it. So that's essentially the idea in the movie. Uh, but it wasn't really around Proxima Centauri, it was around Alpha Centauri. But what's really interesting is that we seem to have discovered an Earth-like planet, a terrestrial planet that orbits relatively close to Proxima Centauri, to this star right here, which is much, much smaller than the Sun. It's actually only about 18% um, the mass of the Sun, and it's much smaller in terms of size, but it is a lot more dense, and it's what's known as uh, a pulsing star, or a flare star, or basically a star that tends to basically flare up once in a while and produces a lot of energy. Uh, but nevertheless, um, it is much smaller and much uh, more dim, and uh, for this reason, the actual habitable zone where you would expect to have liquid water is much closer as well. It's at a distance of about 5% of one astronomical unit, uh, which is about 20 times closer than it is um, uh, in our solar system around the Sun. Now, these various planets are randomly generated, and they're actually very, very beautiful. This is Proxima 1 right here, with its little moon right there, Proxima 1d1. Um, and each of these moons, uh, not surprisingly, is very cold because uh, this star doesn't really produce that much light. And you can kind of see that it's, even at this close distance, it's relatively dim. But um, what is really interesting, though, about this particular discovery is that, uh, well, we might have actually discovered the closest exoplanet to us that we might even be able to reach one day. Because um, there is uh, at least one mission that's being planned by... Um, a Russian billionaire uh, with help from the Facebook founder, 
Mark Zuckerberg and of course uh, famous physicist Stephen Hawking. And this mission is actually called Project um, Starshot where they're planning to basically launch really really tiny uh, satellites toward Alpha Centauri and this is Proxima 2. Um, so, so they're going to launch little satellites by projecting them with a very very powerful laser. Uh, and if, if it actually succeeds, we might end up um, reaching this within about 20 years and possibly discovering a lot about the system. Uh, so this is a cold gas giant right here. Very, very beautiful place with quite a lot of various moons around it. So maybe this is what we, we can actually call this Polyphemus uh, for the sakes of exploring the system. Uh, but interestingly, the fourth planet in this particular system happens to be... Um, planet that has marine and terrestrial exo exotic um, multicellular life. It's very cold, it's minus 190 degrees Celsius here, but there is life on this planet and there's also um, atmosphere that consists of entirely of nitrogen. It's only about uh, 20 percent, or sorry not 20, 12 percent of um, earth atmosphere, but it's apparently enough to produce this beautiful life that you're about to see. Now, whether this terrestrial planet that we've discovered in reality is something like this or whether it's something completely different is another story, but we're going to pretend that this is actually it. That this is the world that we have discovered in August of 2016 that not only is terrestrial and absolutely gorgeous, but also has beautiful life that you're about to see. I'm going to descend through these clouds, through, these, uh, through this very thin atmospheric layer and show you the life on the surface and there it is the green stuff that's the life well i mean this it's a game after all it's not going to show you moving creatures or anything but this greenish looking material is the multicellular exotic life on the surface pretty amazing stuff i actually completely discovered this by accident did not expect to find this life in the system when i started making this video and it was pretty impressive i, I thought it was really really cool uh, this makes this particular planet which is proxima 4 you can definitely find this in space engine because it's not randomly generated this is already pre-created um i mean this planet doesn't actually ex possibly exist in real life but it does exist in space engine and so if you have the game you'll be able to find it as well However, the only problem with the planet that we've actually discovered in real life um, is that it's very likely to be tightly locked to Proxima Centauri, meaning that it's always facing the same way. And unless it has a very thick atmosphere, this would be a problem, meaning that one side is always hot, one side is always cold. If there is atmosphere, however, it might actually be able to redistribute um, the heat and essentially create a relatively habitable atmospheric um, conditions. Oh, this is a really cool crater here. Or what is this? It's a, some sort of a um, river, beautiful river inside um, what seems to be a canyon. Uh, and um, so this is essentially Proxima 4. I'm going to just fly through here just to show you what it looks like. Um, and um, in case you didn't know, th this particular star, and I guess in this case, and th this planet as well, is only about 4.2 light years away from us. And this is the closest star we have. Um, you won't be able to see it in the sky if you um, if you have even if you have a telescope actually it's very very difficult to see because it's not very bright it's it's relatively small uh, but it's 40 times more dense than the sun and even though it's smaller it does have quite a lot of energy and produces um, quite a lot of heat in comparison to uh, some of the similar planets or some of the similar stars that are um, maybe not not as dense as this one that you see in the sky. Um, this star was actually discovered uh, back in 1915, so so something like 101 years ago, uh, for me at least, because I'm making this in 2016. And uh, it was discovered by a person uh, by the name of uh, Robert um, Innes. And he, I believe, discovered this in somewhere in South Africa. Uh, but uh, today, we know a lot more about it than we did back in the days. And we have now almost, almost certainly officially discovered a terrestrial or an, possibly an Earth-like planet around it. Now, whether it's actually Earth-like is another question. We might not know this for a while. If it looks like this, we will definitely not know for a very long time. But you know what? We can assume that maybe it is and possibly dream about it. So this is essentially um, what Proxima 4 looks like in Space Engine. And there is also these other planets, including this one right here that has two moons. Uh, this is a frozen gas giant with uh, two moons orbiting in a very, very unique um, way. And it, it does have uh, really beautiful rings as well. You can definitely check these out uh, by yourself using um, Space Engine because this game is absolutely free and I don't really see why you wouldn't have it already. 
And anyway, so that's all I really wanted to talk uh, to you about in this particular video. I wanted to tell you about this new discovery and kind of possibly show you what maybe it does look like or maybe it doesn't. Because in Space Engine, things are uh, sometimes a little bit artistic, but they look so much more beautiful than possibly even in real life. Anyway, so that's all we're going to talk about. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video with someone who you think might like space sciences. In the next video, we're going to talk about something else that will teach you stuff about the universe, math, science, or maybe something completely different. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, do consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me purchase better equipment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye.